Let's consider an example. So let's say we have a, a curved surface, so a concrete. Then we have a curved surface which consists of a quadrant and it is hinged here. And then let's say there is an arm here. And then let's set height equal to 2 meter. And then this distance also is equal to 2 meter. And then let's say the water level is on this side. The water is on this side. And the water level is up to there. So the, there's a gate here which is hinged here. So there will be hydrostatic force acting here which is will keep the gate closed. So in order to open the gate, we will apply a force P. And then this arms is given as 1 meter. So in order to solve these problems, first of all, the first thing is we project this curved surface onto a vertical plane. So if we project this, we'll get a rectangle. Okay. Let's say the width of K is equal to 5 meter. So that means that the width of the gate is 5 meter. So the height here, the height of this rectangle is 2 meter. So next if you looked at the center of gravity or the centroid of this surface. So this is the COG vertical and this is A vertical. And the force will be acting through the center of pressure of vertical projections. So the force will be acting this way through the center of pressure. So Fx. And then our h bar vertical will be from the center of pressure to the water surface. So since the water surface is actually at the end of the gate, so that will be your h bar vertical. And this distance will be our YCP G h bar vertical. Power vertical is this distance here is 2 divided by 2, so halfway through is 1 meter, and then A vertical will be equal to 5 multiplied by 2, so it's 10 meter square. So then we can calculate our fx, fx is 10 to the 3, 9.81. Multiply by h power vertical, which is 1, multiplied by area, which is 10. So that gives us uh, 9.8 times 10 to the 4 Newton or 98 kN. Newton. Now we can calculate, calculate YCP vertical. YCP vertical is equal to IXX vertical over h bar vertical a vertical and i x x vertical is actually equal to b d cube divided by 12 so 5 2 to the power of 3 divided by 12 and that gives us 3.333 and then we can now calculate y c p vertical which is equal to i x x vertical 3.33 over h bar vertical which is just 1 
multiply by a which is 10 and that gives us 0 0.333 meter so next is the y components of force so the y components of the force will be equal to rho g v above so fy is equal to rho g v above where v above that we have to consider is actually the whole of this volume so if i draw it in 3d then i have uh, so this is the curve the quadrant so this is 2 meter 2 meter and then the width of the gate is actually 5 meter so this is 5 so this is the volumes that we have to calculate so v above is equal to pi r squared is a quadrant so divided by 4 multiplied by 5 so then that gives us fy which is rho g and then v above this and this cancel so we have 5 pi so if you calculate that using calculator you have 154.095 kilonewton okay the next part is the line of actions of fy so if you look at this so this is the the volume so in order to find out where is the line of actions we need to get the centroids of this volume so the centroid of this volume so let's say this is the centroid of this volume cog volume so it will be acting directly downward so that's fy and then we need to use the formula for the location of centroid for a quadrant so if you look at the formula let's call that distance x so x is given by 4 r divided by 3 pi so in our case that's 4 multiplied by 2 divided by 3 pi which is if you calculate that you'll get 0 0.48488 meter and the last part will be calculating what would be the force p that we have to apply here in order to open the gate so if you look at this let's consider the moment so the moment created by the clockwise moment created by p will be p multiplied by 1 and then this will be balanced by the anti-clockwise moment which will be created by fx and fy so it will be fx here multiplied by the arms arms will be this distance here so it will be equal to hb plus ycp vertical and then for fy it will be fy multiplied by this arm here so this arm here will be the radius minus x so if we balance the moment balancing moment so we'll get fy so fy multiplied by hp plus ycp no fy is here fy will be equal fy multiplied by this arm so which is 2 minus x plus and then fx fx multiplied by this distance which will be hv plus ycp
and this will be equal to p multiplied by 1 so if we put the values you'll get p equal to 154.095 that's fy multiplied by 2 minus 0 0.8 488 plus 98 multiply by 1 plus 0 0.333 and that will give you 308.03 kilonewton so the force P that we have to apply here will be equal to 308.03 kilonewton So just now we have looked at the case whereby the fluid is actually on this side. If I now modify the problem slightly such that the fluid is actually on this side here. So if I redraw the diagrams. So again I have a concrete. So it's changed here. Then I have again this curved surface then this is the the bay then let's say I have arms on this side now and then I want to apply a force let's call this P and then again the water level is now on this side water is on the right hand side so this is 2 meter again so this is again 2 meter and this is 1 meter so now we are asked to calculate the force P that we have to apply in order to open in order to keep the gate closed because now the water is actually on the right hand side so you will try to push this gate and try to open the gate so you need to apply a force P in order to keep the gate closed So now if again I redraw again quickly the projected area on the vertical plane. So I have this, this is 5 meter, this is 2 meter. Then the first things is actually the centroid. So just like previous case, so we get centroid so this is COG vertical and then COP vertical is here but now the force will be acting from right to left so the force will be acting this way now so we call that one our fx okay and then again this will be our h bar vertical and that will be our ycp vertical Okay. And then the vertical component of the force. So the force now will be acting from below to up. So again, we have to consider this volume. So it's still the same volume as the previous one. But now that the force will be acting upward through the COG of the volume. So it will be acting upward. So that will be your fy and again your that will be x so again your fx will be equal to rho g h power vertical a vertical so if you look at this H power vertical is still going to be the same H power vertical like the previous one and then A vertical is still going to be the same value. So you will get the same result. So 98 kilonewton. And similarly, if you looked at YCP vertical, so again it's going to be IXX vertical over H power vertical A vertical since all of these are the same as the previous one. So it's just will be 0 0.333 meter. And then similarly, Fy also will be rho g v above. So the v above is still the same. It's just that now it's actually 
acting upward so that will be equal to 154.095 kilonewton and again x is still since we are dealing with the same volumes so x is equal to 4r over 3 pi so it's still 0 0.8488 meter so now again in order to get p we need to now take moment so we have to balance the moment so balancing moment So we have Fy, Fy now is acting upward, so Fy multiplied by this distance here, so Fy multiplied by 2 minus x, and then another clockwise moment is due to Fx, so Fx multiplied by this distance, so this distance is h, h bar vertical plus ycp vertical plus Fx, 1 plus ycp vertical and this will be balanced by this moment so p multiplied by 1 so again exactly the same equations as the previous one so you get p equal to 308.03 kilo newton okay so this solution here is valid if the weight of the gate is negligible. Negligible. So let's say now the weight of the gate is non-negligible. So what will happen is that if the weight is non-negligible, there will be a weight which is will be acting downward from the center of gravity of the of the gate. So this is the gate. So the center of gravity will be exactly in the middle. So it will be acting downward and let's call that one w and this distance here is actually halfway through so this is actually one meter so if we if the weight is non-negligible if weight of gate is non-negligible so then we have to take moment considering the weight also so we have Fy again, 2 minus x, this is the um, clockwise moment plus fx, 1 plus ycp vertical and p times 1 is equal to p times 1 because this is anti-clockwise moment and the weight will also provide an anti-clockwise moment so weight halfway through arms radius is equal to 1 so your p will be lesser so again it's going to be fy 2 minus x plus fx 1 plus ycp vertical minus the weight 